The new notifications feature makes model-driven apps an even greater hub for so many things that your users need to see and do. And they're really easy to use. So I'm gonna show you how to turn it on while it's in preview. And then I'll show you a Canvas app I built that you can download to build custom notifications and also how to use Power Automate to bring in notifications from an external source like Twitter and from approvals. I'm using an environment that's in Region Canada with the Wave 2 updates installed and I've got the sample apps installed. And I'm gonna be using this sample app for uh, asset checkout as where we surface our notifications. But first we have to turn them on. And so here from the docs you can see uh, the first thing it wants us to do is run this JavaScript to turn on a flag. And we need to set our app unique name. And we can get that app unique name from the solution file here. And so this, this app unique name is MSDYN Asset Checkout. And so I'm going to copy this, uh, copy this code from the docs and update this app unique name with MSDYN Asset Checkout. And then I'll use the, the dev tools by pressing F12. And here in the console, I can just paste in that code, update it with MSDYN Asset Checkout, and run it. And once it completes running, then the second step that are in the docs are to go in and create a new solution. And then we're going to add that model-driven app. So add existing app, model-driven app, asset checkout. And then we'll publish all customizations. And once, that published, once that's published, we should be able to come back to our model-driven app and refresh it, and we see the bell icon. So let's explore what we can do with notifications. So in the solution that I've linked in the description, I have a link to this Canvas app. I call it Notification-O-Matic. So this will give us an opportunity to, to explore some of the elements of notifications. So we'll add in a title. This is important. And then we can add in a description for it as well. And you can see the preview forming over here. So we'll see how the notification will, will, will go. We'll say, you know, click below for more info. Do it fast. Now, everything in here is markdown. So you have the ability to do some formatting too, right? So we'll do italics. We'll do more info. And then you can add some links too. So important link. Click me. And then we'll just do a link to Microsoft. And you have different formats that can be then um, brought in, you know, how, what the tab action is. And so we'll add that here. And now we've also got five built-in icons. You can add your own as custom icons, and I'll show those when I get working with Power Automate. And so we should get a, um, a notification that looks like this. So let's send that to our model-driven app. Now under the covers, what this is doing is it's just creating a record in a notifications table. And we'll look at that in a sec. So if I come back here to our model-driven app, and we'll click the bell. And there's our notification, right? This is important. We've got the formatting and a link into Microsoft popping up in a new tab. Now, under the covers, these are really simple to work with because what they do is they go into a notifications table. And as soon as something's created in that notifications table, it's going to pop up as a notification. So this manage table is right here. And we're going to, and you can see the different columns here are the ones that we've been dealing with, right? So we've got uh, the title. It's priority, how it's timed, and also these will have an owner and that'll indicate who that it goes out to. And so let's look at uh, what I've done for Twitter here for Power Automate. So also in this notification solution that I posted in the description, I've got a couple of flows that will pull from Twitter, one on a trigger and one that I can just do manually pull so that we can look at it here. And again, all this is doing is it's searching tweets, pulling the most recent Power Platform tweet, just pulling one of them. And then it's adding a row to Dataverse to the notifications table with the title, who tweeted it, tweet body. Now we're doing a custom URL in this with this format. So this is the payload for that. So the icon URL to the web resource for the Twitter icon I've uploaded as part of the solution. And then I'm adding an action for view tweet and then that is going to go to a URL, and I'm creating a Twitter URL with the username and the tweet ID. And so when I run this, it 
It creates that record in Dataverse, and we come back to our model-driven app and click the bell, and we see that, hey, Taiki just tweeted. And so we could see his tweet here. All right. And so then the last example I wanted to show was for, uh, for creating approvals. And I've got some flows in here that I have turned off that will monitor the Dataverse table when there's a new flow and then automatically create a notification for it. But we're just going to do one that does the entire thing end to end. So this was going to create an approval. It's going to look up the approver's email so that it can create a notification specifically for them, right? Other people won't see that, just them. And then it will delete it when it's done. And so we can see here we're taking the approval title, the details. I've got the response link so I can have that be actionable directly from the notification. And then we're sending it to the Dataverse user here. So let's test this one out. And again, just for testing, I've got this so that is, this is uh, hard-coded in for this trigger. But this could be pulling from approvals as they're created as well. So now if we come back here and we'll click on the bell. And now we see we've got this uh, new invoice approval with the approval logo. That's also a custom web resource that I've added. And we can click Take Action. Take this directly to the approval for this particular one. And we'll say approve and confirm. So just a few different examples of how to use this new notifications feature, because really now anything that can write a record to a Dataverse table can also be front and center with your user's attention and your model-driven apps.